this question might look difficult, especially because of the options, the way options are given. But if you understand the concept of weighted average, then it will be very simple. Yes, the basic concept of weighted average. Okay, so let's have a look at this. 100 kgs of alloy of copper and zinc, the ratio is given, mixed with x kgs of another alloy of copper and zinc. They are mixed and this new alloy should contain copper between 30% and 35%. So, I will write the fraction of copper. I'll write the fraction of copper in the resulting mixture using the method of weighted average. So, 100 multiplied by the fraction of copper here is 1 by 5 plus x multiplied by fraction of copper here is 4 upon 7 whole divided by 100 plus x. Now this should be between 30 percentage and 35 percentage. So that means this should be greater than 30 upon 100 and less than 35 upon 100. All right. Now, first of all, I'll solve the first inequality, this one, and then I'll solve the other one, right? So, let's do cross multiplication. So, 30 upon 100 can be written as 3 by 10. So, 3 into 100, that is 300 plus 3x is equal to 200, not equal to, but less than. So, it is less than 200 plus it will be 40 upon 7x, right? Then I can say that uh, 40x upon 7 minus 3x, that is 19 upon 7x, should be greater than 100. So x will be greater than 700 upon 19. Now we need to find out the range of values of x. So we know that x should be greater than 700 upon 19. Now, stop here and check the options. The first option does not match. The third option does not match. The fourth option does not match. Okay, so there is no need to calculate the other side of the range of value of x because we have already known that x will be greater than 700 upon 19, which matches with option B. So it is pretty much safe to mark option B as your final answer.